Help support our coverage with a free account on Privacy, the service that keeps your bank information private when shopping online. Take control of your subscriptions and other recurring payments, plus pause and close privacy cards at any time. And get $5 right now to try the service at collision.live slash privacy. Well, our next guest is here. Hello. Hey. Hi, how are you? I'm doing well. How are you guys? Pretty good. Uh, can you please introduce yourself for us? Uh, oh, over there? Mm -hmm. Uh, my name is Roy Abdo. I'm one of the co-founders of Kangaroo. What is Kangaroo? It's an app that connects travelers and global shoppers. We realized that there's a lot of people needing stuff from everywhere in the world, so we created a platform where people can order things and someone traveling to that location will bring them to you. Pretty cool, right? <laughs> what? Okay. So, those Kit Kats that are only available in Japan. Now you can get them. <gasps> So, as simple as you go on kngro.com, kangaroo.com, and then you list that KitKat. And someone traveling from Japan to the States will bring that item to you, and you'll pay them whatever you decide how much is worth for you. Like, okay. it could be $20, $50, $100, uh, depending on what, you know, what kind of, like, worth is for you. And we are the mediator of this thing, and we, what happens is we move the money from one person to another, and once you deliver the item, you get a code, you put that code in, in our app, and you get your money back for buying the item, or you get your reward back. Wow. Pretty cool, right? Yeah. Wow. We saw, we saw a big need for, for this. I mean, I'm originally from Lebanon, and I moved to the States about 13 years ago, and it's always been a struggle going on Facebook posting, hey, can you come, is anyone coming from Lebanon? I want this. Yeah. Or when I, whenever I post on, on Facebook, I'm going back to home, I get tons of requests because if you think about <laughs> it, like the, the cost of shipping interne internationally is so high. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, like the whole time, it takes you like a week or two weeks or three weeks. So we discovered that there must be a way to solve that problem. And we decided to be the solution. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Uh, the cost of shipping is so high just from the States to here that we bought new computer monitors. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's cheaper, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was less expensive to buy new ones than to ship them here. Exactly. Which is uh, just across one the border yeah. over. <laughs> to ship from yeah. Japan or Lebanon or something like that is. I mean, as simple as we discovered, like, for instance, an example of that, the iPhone cost in the UK is like about two to $300 more mm -hmm. than the States, right? Or yeah. like a, a bag from Paris is, is higher. So, so we started looking at different things, and we, we broke it down. There's centers of goods, which is the America, Canada, Europe. And there's a lot of other countries in the world that would like items from those countries. For mm -hmm. instance, you know, like India or, or Egypt or, or, you know, like Lebanon, all sure. those countries. They always want items from Costco, from Walmart, from, you know, so, uh, or even like car parts. We discovered there's a big need for car parts, you uh -huh. know, especially car collector or like car, you know, uh, what do you call them? Car enthusiasts. In the Middle East, they love different, you know, things on their car and that kind of stuff. So now they can go on a web on our website, put their items on Kangaroo, and someone traveling with a space in their luggage, bring it to them, and you know get to make their car look good. I really like that. Yeah, there. Obviously, the Kit Kat example is a little bit of a joke and a little bit oh, serious. serious. Yeah. I, I love it. The one you're talking about, the matcha Kit Kat, right? Oh, I love those Kit Kats. <laughs> right. <laughs> and Maybe. and they can be difficult to get here unless you can find. Yeah. You know, like we just happen to have a comic book shop that can get them for us but mm -hmm. i mean that not everybody has this particular shop in their backyard even the comic book probably has a profit margin on it uh -huh. he wants to make money out of it and that kind of thing so if you're kind of like a person who's traveled to japan back and forth and you have space in your luggage you can buy someone a box or two boxes or three boxes and right. you know save because you know it's a win-win for someone who likes things from everywhere and someone who wants to make money traveling yeah definitely so that's where we built I I really like this. There's there's all kinds of you know Asian products that we simply can't yeah. get here. Even from U.S. companies, mm -hmm. they make a special one-off version of a thing. But it's for, not the same. Yeah, yeah. Just for Japan or China or India or something yeah, yeah. that we can't get here, mm -hmm. and vice versa. There are things that are unique to us that can't be found. In those countries. Yeah. The way even we see this going forward to an extent where, you know, when you go on Amazon, there's one day shipping, two day shipping. Three uh -huh. days. We, can, we can almost see something like where can ship it with kangaroo because someone would be traveling to that location where you're going to and you're shopping on Amazon from an outside country. 
you can get that option of shipping for someone to take it for you. Yeah. Oh. So is this primarily like need based? So like I need this, bring me this, or is it also like a marketplace? It's a marketplace. So like yeah. I can yeah. look on you know the the website and see oh. Here's the Kit Kat I've been dying for, and they already have it. No, Does more, it work that way as well? More like a marketplace when I say that. it's uh, The idea is people who travel a lot, they'll just list their travels. Okay. And people who want items from anywhere in the anywhere in the world, they'll list whatever they like. Okay. Uh, and then, or they could see someone coming and list them an item. So, for instance, let's say you know, so, you, know you want this item from Amazon or Walmart or B&H or something like that, and mm -hmm. you know someone's coming to Dubai, you can simply list the item and to ping them to you know to tell, to bring it to you. Okay. Or you can just list that item, and then whenever someone going to Dubai will notify them, hey, you have an opportunity to make a hundred, two hundred, five fifty dollars. I personally listed that I was going to Lebanon for Christmas. Uh, the minute I listed that item, someone already had listed that they want Apple watches. So I took them two Apple watches, and I made a hundred dollars out of it, just because, you know, what's an Apple watch gonna take space in my luggage? Yeah. Right. Nothing. But for them, the Apple Watch is a is a hot item yeah. over there. And and the thing that even even if you were to buy it there, that hundred like if it's available there, that hundred dollar that they paid you yeah. is less than the markup that's <laughs> going to be in the country. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean it's price arbitrage and and opportunity for travelers to utilize the space in their luggage because a lot of times you know. Most of it, most of the time, what happens is if I go back to Lebanon, I'm taking a lot of stuff with me, and if I'm going back from Lebanon, my luggage is empty because I took all those Costco vitamins, all those car parts, uh -huh. all those mm -hmm. Amazon. I mean, you can imagine yeah. how things work yeah, sure. exactly. when you have relatives or someone overseas, or even you know, as simple as you don't have to have them. You know, a lot of people travel for like work or mm -hmm. you know, like, you know uh, they're on missions for places and stuff. Sure. So now they can just take a bunch of things and you know pay off for their ticket or, yeah, or definitely. that kind of thing. And and the other side we see it is, you know, people need certain medications, certain paperwork, certain linger work, certain items from the airport at some point because airports have like special things. So we see this even growing to the point where, you know, we can help you get something from Germany. Uh, from the airport Germany, like specific products that, that are specific in, Ger in Germany airport that you want to get them somewhere or uh, Paris airport or US airport. I can imagine that uh, you guys would be dealing with multiple types of currencies. Does that work any differently for you guys? Or? I mean, we, we, we're integrated with like uh, Stripe and an international payment system. So this oh way right. any credit card would work. And uh, on top of that, you know, we have like any standard uh, in a kind of Uberized Come on, like you know, Airbnb or Uber, we have like insurance on the on the items and insurance on the transactions and such. Oh, okay. And uh, we're based out of Washington D.C., so that's our headquarters. And uh, we're like looking to like different, you know, soon we can see this expanding in different countries and having different kind of like uh, headquarters in each country where we see centers of goods being moved. Oh. Uh, that's how you know we're excited for it. We think it's uh, we're think we think we're onto something that no one has done, and uh, it's gonna be you know like a lot of Education. Uh, you're talking. I've worked with Lyft uh, early on when when I was kicking it off to start. Okay. And if I told you like five years ago, hey, next five years you're gonna get in someone else's car, he's gonna drive you around, you'll share the ride with someone, and you're gonna pay on the app. You're gonna think I'm crazy. Like, oh, why? <laughs> yeah. But uh, and it's the same thing I see uh, happening around here because we we becoming more and more like nomads. We travel a lot, mm -hmm. and you know, traveling become much more accessible, and the internet created the opportunity of discovery for items, mm -hmm. but that demand and supply has not been you know, fixed. Yeah, and you know, the, the idea of couriers is yeah. as old as humanity. Exactly. <laughs> and you know, the idea of even sending things from country to country via a yeah. human courier is an old concept. Exactly. This is just a modernization of that process. So we see even like some people like need legal documents. So we recommend usually like oh. to buy items from like specific website, but as simple as a paper, that's kind of like very safe to, tra to do a transaction. So let's say you want that, I don't know, birth certificate from whatever country or that you want it to be moved quicker. And if you think about moving, you know, a birth certificate through FedEx, that's going to cost you, I don't know, a hundred dollars just to overnight it. Versus if you go on the app, discover someone going instantaneously, you just meet with them, give them that birth certificate, give them that legal document, they would move it quicker. And it's actually yeah. a person that you could trust because we do the validation with Facebook, right. with credit card. And like, you know, all it's kind of like the higher validation you are, the more trusted to get more requests and the more trusted to get more like uh, basically revenues from it. 
Okay. Wow. It's exciting, right? It really is. <laughs> you got to tell me, we're the most exciting startup right now you've interviewed, no? I mean, you're definitely <laughs> one of the top ones. It's yeah. very interesting. For sure. Yeah. If not, it's I'll just leave right now. <laughs> <laughs> no. Just kidding, kidding. Yeah, it's because, it, and it's one of those things where you think about it and you go, well, uh, of course. Yeah, like that makes 100% sense. <laughs> why, why isn't it already out? But yeah. yeah, you guys are doing it. Yeah. So as an alpha, uh, how far into the process are you? So we launched about, uh, I think, a month and a half ago. And then uh, we have about 100, 150 users, which is family, friends. Sure. And we've been testing around with, like, to see everything. And now we're at a point where we're, like, uh, showcasing the product. You know, we, we build the product, we build the platforms, and we are showcasing to basically get more active users and start raising, uh, you know, uh, capital to invest to scale it. Uh, and having worked with another marketplace, uh, that's, it's going to take an investment to basically get users to be active and get the awareness out. And uh, that's where we are right now here. And that's why we're here. So we wanted to expose the idea. We wanted to showcase how we built the platforms. We recorded, we have our, all our digital content, media kit, all this kind of stuff ready. And you know, to get the exposure you know, we're looking for. That's really cool. How long have you been working on this? It's been in the work about two years. Oh wow! Uh, so we it's come up. You know, first the idea started. Then we started building the technology, the the whole kind of like marketplace connections, then the visual pieces, which is from the branding, the, you know, the colors, the social media presence. Mm -hmm. We basically tested with the did a little market test with Facebook ads to figure out what are cost per users. We did also we did kind of like a lot of homework to make sure that there's a product fit. Uh, and once we discovered we have a fit, then we start kind of pushing it, like building blocks, you know? We discovered this, then okay, I gotta do that, and do this, and do that. That's, that's really smart. Yeah, I mean, the worst thing you could do, we, the common mistakes that I, I work, I work, I mean, I own an advertising agency outside of being a co-founder of the startups, and the first thing that I look for as, a, as a someone who knows advertising well is I tell them, who is your ideal customer? Where are they spending their time? What are they looking into? What are their target? What are their pain points are? So I wanted to make sure before we get into this, uh, we make sure we have ideal customers, we make sure they're spending their time somewhere, and that's even before going to uh, you know, an investor raising money, because you gotta walk in to them, tell them, okay, we, this is the size of the market, this is the right. opportunity we present, right. and if you just think of an idea, the idea is worth nothing if you don't do the research for it. Right. So uh, we did those, all those homework, and now we even did the valuation based on the estimated uh, you know, demand and estimated needs for, for different countries. Sure. And, and I think what's great about now leveraging social media advertising to scale this kind of concept, you know with people who have interest in certain brands in certain countries, you know who people have interest in cars and want some more stuff. So we're just at a point where we know that we're it's a scalable the minute we have an investment injection, so we can start becoming this global matching the supply and demand of those things. Very cool. So what kind of timeline are we expecting for a to a, for a wire. For a wire? I yeah. mean, we're, uh, we, we've are we been here trying, you know, we met with a couple of investors here and Good. we have some offers on the table and we want to see what, you know, what what's best out there. Uh, you know, b meeting with different people, like uh, we had a mentorship session here and then we have uh, other competitions we're going into. Uh, it's going to be a matter of someone who, un an investor who believes in, in the idea of shopping, global shopping and scalability. And we're looking for that strategic partner uh, not just kind of someone just give us the money because we also want someone who believes in that concept who can you know take it further. Having worked with other startups and I realized you know Lyft till now or Uber they're still not profitable, yep. but they're scaling quicker than anyone because it's about market share. The more market share you have, then you can want even Facebook. You know, so we know that's a that's a concept where you know it's like three to five years before you start seeing a result. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, we actually, if you think of it this way, if you take out the development cost, we could be profitable from day one because we're making transaction costs off the demand and supply, right? Right, right. So we're hoping in the next year, uh, we'll start, you know, we'll have the injections of the investments so we can start scaling this. Gotcha, that's, that's really cool. Obviously, I'm excited about the idea. It's yeah. can kangaroo. So the where idea- did the, Where'd the name come from? You know, like the kangaroo, they have yeah, a power exactly. strip put stuff in. Oh. You know? Okay. It's kind of like, and then we you know our slogan is connecting travelers and shoppers. And the idea is like, Travel, travel on their own. Shoppers, sh global shopper shops on their own. Now we're the place where they can, we, we're like a marketplace introducing those two. And it's a kangaroo as an idea of like putting something in your pocket and moving. And we did the play on word and sure. we bought the domain. I love it. I mean, my favorite animal is a kangaroo, so. Yeah. No, I, <laughs> her favorite animal is the kangaroo. It, so. I love yeah. kangaroos. So it's a bonus. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so uh, you could be, our, we'll give you a code, our first users. <laughs> yeah, definitely. 
Awesome. Uh, I'm on board. Mm -hmm. <laughs> For those who want to find out more about uh, your platform and follow your progress, how Perfect. can they do that? So uh, you can go on kngro.com, which is our website, or even go on the App Store uh, or the Android Store and download it, KNGRO. You can download the app. And also on top of that, we are all, uh, on all social media. Uh, our handle is KNGRO app on Facebook, on uh, Instagram, and on Twitter. And if you follow us on Instagram, we have a lot of giveaways that we give for people who are traveling and to get the market, you know, to get like a excitement into sure. inject excitement. And um, if you want to also like follow me personally, uh, my Instagram handle is uh, ROY dot A B D O Apple Bravo Delta Oscar. And I can give you more information and we can hook you up with a discount code, especially for this who's watching us right now or who watch us. Awesome. Cool. Awesome. Well, cool. thank you very much. Thank you so much for having me. And uh, that's, that was a great uh, interview. And hopefully you guys are enjoying the show as much as, much as we are. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> yeah, we always, we always like this show. It's yeah, fun. We have yeah. a different perspective. but Yeah, because you probably ask tons of questions, everyone, right? <laughs> and, you get and, and our view <laughs> is Here. this. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but people come to you yes. versus yeah. you have, I mean, trust me, walking around is difficult. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I had, I had 15,000 steps last yeah. yesterday, so hopefully today I'll do like 10, I'm thinking. Yeah. Yeah. Well, awesome. Well, thank you very much have for a good taking rest the time. Thank show. you. Bye.